Scryd allows you to type in English and 11 Indian languages. As we progress, support for more languages will be added. Scryd provides a built-in, almost phonetic transliteration for Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Oriya, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Tamil, and Telugu. Clicking on the language button in the toolbar pulls out a menu that lists all the supported languages. Simply select a language from this language menu to switch to that as the active language. And once you change the active language, it shows up here in the toolbar. Now, anything you type in the screenplay editor from then on will be transliterated to that language. I'm going to switch to Hindi now. Notice that anything I type in um, English will get transliterated to Hindi because that's the active language. Now, sometimes the transliteration is not exactly phonetic. For example, let's say I wanted to type in Kannada the word Krishna. So if I type K-R-I-S-H-N-A in English, you'll notice that the transliteration is not accurate, it's not correct. And this is because Scryte uses a static alphabet mapping lookup table for performing all of the transliteration. You can simply click on this button to pull out the alphabet mapping table and then try to figure out the right combination of English words in order to type in the language that you've selected. This kind of table is shown for all the languages that we support in Scryte. For example, if I switch to let's say Malayalam, I can click on this keyboard icon here and it's going to show you the alphabet mapping table for Malayalam. Now, let me switch back to Kannada. Now, by looking at this alphabet mapping table, I can figure out that the right combination of letters for writing Krishna would be K -R -K -Z -R -S -H -N -A. This will actually type Krishna the way we want it in Kannada. Now, I realize this is a lot of work. So starting with 0.4.13, you can add input methods from your operating system uh, to Scryte so that Scryte will use those input methods while typing in languages of your choice. Now to do that, first we'll go to this language preferences, settings. I'm gonna show a demo on Windows first and then I'll also switch to Mac and show a demo of this. So we'll open the language preferences uh, panel in settings. And down here, we can add languages that we want to make use of in uh, Windows. And I'm also going to add Hindi. Now, as these languages are getting installed, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to click on this options button here and I'm going to add this phonetic keyboard for the Kannada language. Similarly, for Hindi, I'm going to add the uh, phonetic keyboard for Hindi and then this, remove the inscript keyboard for Hindi. So this way, we've now added a few languages uh, as input sources, input methods in Windows operating system. Now, if I click on this button in the system tray, I'll notice that it, Kannada and Hindi shows up in this menu. Now, I can head back to Scryte, go to settings, and then I can switch to transliteration. And you'll notice that for Hindi and Kannada, the combo box got enabled. Now in this combo box, I'm gonna select the Hindi transliterator from the Windows operating system. And similarly for Kannada, I will select the phonetic Kannada input method that we just enabled in Windows operating system. From now on, whenever I want to type in Hindi or Kannada, it's going to make use of this input method from the Windows operating system. For all of the other languages, Sprite will continue to use the built-in translator. Now, let me go ahead and delete all of these. Now, if I want to write in um, Kannada, for example, I, have, I can simply switch to Kannada. It's already switched to Kannada. And now, as I type, Notice that I get this pop-up menu, which will show me different variations of the transliterations that I could use. And usually the first one that is suggested is really good. 
right like this if i want to switch to hindi now i can go here click on hindi and you'll notice even for hindi it's going to suggest accurate translations on mac you can go to system preferences keyboard and then switch to input sources tab here you can add input sources for languages of your choice once you add all the input sources you want make sure that this option show input menu in menu bar is checked that way you'll get to see a menu in the menu bar of your mac desktop from where you can switch the active language even in other apps not just within scribe now let's launch scribe now you'll notice that when i switch to hindi scribe will make use of the built-in transliterator but we can change that simply switch to settings transliteration tab and against hindi we can configure scribe to make use of the hindi input method that we have configured in system preferences now as i type in hindi notice that mac os's pop-up for transliteration option shows up and i can type easily in hindi early on in the development of the scribe project we found out from early adopters that they have their own preference for language fonts not everybody wants to use the courier font for Kannada or Hindi or Malayalam or the other languages that they can write in. They prefer to use their own fonts for these languages. So what we did in Scribe is we allowed users to map languages to the fonts of their choice. So not just while displaying those uh, languages on the screen, but also while exporting them to PDF. So I can simply go to settings, I can switch to fonts. And then here I can associate a font for every single language supported in Scribe. For example, let's say for Canada, I want to use. So I'm going to click on this button here to apply these language settings. And now you'll notice the Scribe is using the custom font that I just associated for Canada language while displaying, uh, you know, Canada text on the screen. Even when I generate a PDF file, you notice that Scribe uses the same font that I configured in settings within PDF files as well. In fact, when you send this PDF to somebody else, even they will end up seeing the exact same font in your screenplay PDF. So this way you can associate custom fonts for different languages that you use within Scribe. Now let's say you're writing a screenplay in which all of your characters speak in Kannada, for example, and you want Scribe to automatically switch to Kannada every time you write a dialogue. Now, if I want to switch to Canada here, I can actually go to this language menu and then click on this, or I can use the keyboard combination Alt and K as you can see in the menu there. And then I can type in Canada. But let's say I want to automate this. You know, I don't want to actually even use the keyboard shortcut Alt K to switch to Canada, but I want Scribe to automatically switch to Canada every single time I type a dialogue. So I can go to settings here. And then under formatting rules, I can switch to dialogue. And out here, there's this uh, field that says language. And from this combo box, I can now select Canada. Now what's gonna happen is that every single time I switch to a dialogue paragraph, the active language will automatically become Canada. So let's see this in action. I'm gonna hit enter now. We are in the dialogue paragraph and you notice that the active language is already Kannada. Now when I hit the enter key, the paragraph type changed to character and you'll notice that the active language switched to English. And now I can type the next character's name in English and I hit enter, you'll notice that the active language changed to Kannada once again. And now when I switch to any other paragraph type, you'll notice that the language automatically changes back to English. So this way you can configure Scry to switch to a specific language every time you write specific paragraph types. You can associate a language to action, to uh, dialogues, to transition, or whatever. To find out more about acting in multiple languages, visit our website and then click on the help option scroll down 
and then open the typing in multiple languages article and here you can find all information about typing in multiple languages within scribe thank you for watching this video i hope you found the contents of this video useful and that it will take your writing productivity to a whole new level